This is to promote our newly launched project entitled Davao Citizen Science Heritage Trees Project. This project is um, a short-term project uh, of TDs no, in partnership with our uh, national and international networks. No? Together with the infrastructure development in Davao City, we have, uh, we've also witnessed, we've also observed the the cutting of trees, no? even the, the old and the large trees in the urban areas. No? So that's um, Actually, as what I have observed, you know, I've, I've witnessed since as early as 2007. But then, being part of EDIS, you know, EDIS has been campaigning to retain or to stop the cutting of trees in the urban areas. Um, I also would like to emphasize you know, that heritage, heritage trees you know, also is part of the cultural heritage of every city or every municipality. Um, we are hoping that we will be able to include the output of this project in the Comprehensive Land Use Plan, recognizing uh, heritage trees as cultural heritage of Davao City. So hopefully we can do that and then of course the enactment or the passage of the heritage trees. Madayao and Mayung Adlao sa Tanan, our heritage trees are living testaments to how a community values its natural environment. And bound have stood the test of time and have given us shade, sustenance, and safety for so many years. With this, I would like to thank Interface Development Interventions for Sustainability for conducting a study on mapping our heritage trees in Davao City. I would also like to thank the Citizen Science volunteers and our environmental advocates taking part in this online research forum presenting the results of this study. Your efforts will make a difference in ensuring that we pursue development without sacrificing these natural resources so that future generations of Davaoenios will be able to see and appreciate the beauty, the majesty, and the value of our heritage. It is with great honor that I am uh, accepting the turnover of the findings of this uh, heritage tree program. and. Uh, I was assured that together with the Honorable Pilar Braga, uh, we will endeavor to finish what you have initiated with this project. Kabantian Road is having the, ano, the road infrastructure or road widening. Po. So some of the trees were, is, I mean, some of the trees are vulnerable to road widening and My realization is that since I volunteer, volunteered this project with this, which is mapping and saving the heritage trees, for I can I came to know and realize the importance of trees. And much has been said already, you know, uh, and the importance of the protection of our heritage trees and all urban trees in Davao City. So not just for uh, their aesthetic value or cultural significance, but most importantly, for the promotion of sustainable urbanization, instilling health consciousness to the Dabawenos, and more importantly, in maintaining a balanced and healthful ecology for everyone. So how best do we promote and ensure these uh, trees are protected is through creating an ordinance, no? recognizing the importance and the value of these trees and all trees in urban areas. And also, this study is a best example of inclusivity in policy making and in decision making. Field Tree Survey Procedure Step 1 Open the Kobo Toolbox Survey Tool and fill up the form. Step 2 Record the coordinates and geolocation of the tree. In geotagging, make sure that you stand right beside the tree. For higher GPS accuracy, do the geotagging in a fine or in a sunny day weather. Step 3. Identify the tree. Upon identifying the name or species of the tree, you can use books, guides, or applications as references. Step 4. Measure the tree height. Use the Measure Height app to record the estimated height of the tree from the floor to the highest point of its crown. 
Step 5. Measure the trunk size of the tree through diameter at breast height. For very large trees, 60 cm and above, measure its circumference and divide it by 3.1416. Record the result at your Kobo Collect form. Step 6. Ask the locals and residents for the estimated life age of the tree. Step 7. Observe threats and issues. Step 8. Take photos of the tree following the Kobo survey tool. Take photos of the leaves, branches, trunk, bark, roots, seeds, or fruits. Lastly, step 9. Submit the finalized data entry. By the time that you have finalized the form, save it and submit it once you have an internet connection. Submitted data will be reviewed in the server, which is being managed by the research team.